film. Uh, he shifts between when Killmonger does this. He shifts between boy and man. I didn't even think about that. That's that's a really cool insight into character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think that was incredibly intentional. Like even when he's a man, he's still wearing the same outfit of of a child. Um, you know, we talk about this with Batman a lot, wherein Bruce Wayne had like the idea of Batman is the idea a child would come up with, and so Bruce Wayne has just carried that childlike notion with him into adulthood and i think eric killmonger is very much the same way uh in in this film at least he has carried this idea of right and wrong and and by any means kind of notion with him into adulthood but he still has this relatively simplistic worldview and he does not see the possibility of problems to to arise from that and i also think it's really interesting to connect this back to civil war and black panthers and and t'challa's character arc in that because T'Challa, um, you know, had a more simplistic worldview, and it takes seeing the destruction that that can bring, both on a personal and, and, you know, material level, to people for him to break out of that and become, you know, a more well-rounded, smart character. And it's it's probably the best line in Civil War. It's right up there with that, my dad made that shield, it's not yours. Um, but vengeance has consumed them... It has consumed you. I'm done letting it consume me. Mm. Whereas vengeance has consumed Killmonger. Yeah, that's really um, cool. Yeah, I, I mean, you're putting this together, and I'm like, oh man, how did I not think about that? <laughs> you're right. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're just an I idiot. Am. I'm a moron. I shouldn't have watched this at eight o'clock in the morning <laughs> um, with twenty <laughs> other people in the theater, and I'm tired out of my mind. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. This is Black Panther. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So like. That's why I love this movie so much. Um, I really love when superhero movies play with these thematic ideas and, and you know, these bigger-than-life ideas and why weave them all together. And this movie does, I feel, a masterful job of doing it all. And it's, it's not just that it's on the thematic level. It, again, it reaches all the way down to the colors that it's using um, with, again, the, the idea of... Uh, the the contradictory by Western standard idea of black royalty with, again, putting in that battle of the kings, which I'm going to continue to call that until the, the wider community just adopts it, by the way. The battle of the kings with Eric wearing gold and, and T'Challa wearing uh, purple. I think that is really, really interesting. The the whole notion of Black Panther as a a regal black man um, being so contradictory to, we- contradictory to our images uh, in Western society of black people and Africans in particular um, to, to tie that all together uh, between Eric and T'Challa, I just think is, is absolutely beautiful to do it in such a simple little color choice. Mm-hmm. 